Hello everybody, isn't this fantastic? We've got a army of ants moving around. But I'll explain exactly what's going on in a minute. My name is Madam McCurdy, according to Brent, and on camera with me today is Sir David. <laughs> and remember, this is live, this is interactive. You can hashtag Safari Live or chat to us on the YouTube chat. But back to, well, what we're here to do, I suppose. Hey, have a look at wildlife. Now, I actually can't go anywhere. We're trapped. We're gonna have to spend the rest of the safari here because we have got a, well, a line of ants moving. So these are the safari ants or siafu ants. And it's incredible as to what's going on. Obviously you can see there's ants that have formed a sort of a wall on either side. And then there's a tunnel going through the middle where you can see the ants are carrying something. So they're moving their nest by the looks of it. The whole colony has come together to try and protect the ants that are carrying the eggs. Isn't that just absolutely amazing? Now, good luck to any animal that uh, walks upon their path. I think even if an impala were to come walking past here, would get a few bites on the leg. They would not be very happy about that. But isn't this incredible how every, the, the basically the workers are sacrificing themselves on the outside to protect those in the middle. And you can see that once they've dropped the eggs off, the others are going back, obviously, to collect more. Now, there can be millions and millions of ants in one colony. There's a big soldier, you can see much larger than the rest, very powerful man mandibles as well. Now from my understanding, it, I don't think that the Siafu ants keep the same colony for a very long time. Um, from, from what I've read, this is actually the first time I've actually sat and, and, and seen them moving around like this. They're in camp, they harass the top row of tents, they leave us down um, with the mountain view. They don't worry about us down there yet. Well now that I said that, I bet they're going to come and get us. And... Um, it's just it's just really amazing. So they say that they well their mounds can last from a couple of days to a few months, and they're constantly moving them around. So maybe after all the rain that we've had as well, perhaps there was a lot of damage done, and they thought that this is a good time to move. The soil is still nice and soft as well. Now Francis from Israel, you said that they move so fast. They do. It's incredible. Now I've sat and watched Matabele ants, which are like safari ants, but black in colour and um, a little bit on the larger side as well. The, uh, the average size of a Matabele ant is almost the size of those soldiers. They really are big and uh, formidable creatures. It was one of my favorite things to watch them raid harvest termite nests. It's quite savage and barbaric when you watch it because one will go out and I, I don't know if the safari ants do a similar thing when they, when they go searching for food. So they'll send, um, well, the raiding team out and one will go off the scout searching for a active harvester termite nest because that's the Matsbele ant favorite food. And once that, that ant has found a, an active nest, it will come racing back and basically inform the rest of the raiding party and then you see them marching. It is incredible and they hiss at you as if you get in their way. If you bl uh, blow on them, so if you go, you'll hear them going, which is a defense mechanism. I did that a couple of times for science because I wanted to hear. It was just amazing the noise that they could make. And they would literally tear apart an entire harvest termite nest in minutes. They would just be, because, you know, they go in the thousands like this and they travel together, a couple of hundred ants at least, and um, go through and you just see them coming back with bits of harvested termite ahead here, you know, thorax over there. It was honestly one of the most incredible things again. But like I said, it was like a horror movie. Basically, we were watching a massacre. Now, I want to try and get past these ants without driving over the top of them. So I think we might actually do a little bit of a detour. Let's go this way. How great is that? That I love things like that. I could sit and watch that for hours and hours and hours. And that's what I used to do as a kid. What's that? The hyena, Darby. 